we are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. Her family. Hello everyone, how y'all doing on this nice beautiful day? Today we're making a simple home style meatloaf y'all. Yes, and here are our ingredients. Hello everyone, here are our ingredients. I have some ground chuck, some shredded cheese, some ground black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, some plain bread crumbs. I have some crushed tomatoes, and I also have some tomato sauce. And in that bowl, I have some chopped bell peppers and onion, and I have some salt. Y'all, I think this is, these are our only ingredients. If not, I will definitely let you know. Okay, y'all, let's get to cooking. This is like four to five pounds of ground beef. Okay, here I'm adding my seasoning. I'm adding a little salt. Onion powder. Garlic powder. And some black pepper. Here, I'm adding our chopped peppers, green peppers, bell peppers, and onions. And now, our breadcrumb. I'm going to add maybe a cup and a half. It all depends because I have quite a bit of ground beef. So, I'm adding maybe about a cup to a cup and a half. It all depends. Here, I'm adding my crushed tomatoes. Here, I'm adding our tomato sauce. I got two small cans in them, and I may not use all of it. It all depends. Let me check and see. I'm gonna need because uh, it's quite. Like I say, this is quite a bit. Quite a bit of ground chuck. That's what I'm trying to say. Y'all know I'm used to using my hands, in which I'm probably gonna end up doing. But first of all, I want to go ahead and just you know, mix it all together, and then I may use my hand to mix it. The reason why I add that um, crush those crushed tomatoes in the in the tomato sauce, it makes your um, meatloaf juicier. We want a juicy and delicious meatloaf. I will be leaving this recipe in my description box under my videos. One day I'm going to show y'all how to do it. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this tomato sauce. Make sure to mix your ingredients in well because we want our breadcrumbs and our peppers and everything to be, you know, um mixed in well so that you can have the flavor through and through in your meatloaf we're going to continue to mix this up and um i'm going to use my hand some and then we're going to go to our next step and my hands you see when you use your hands you can kind of tell if the meat have been broken up you know I'm going to finish mixing this, and then I'm going to go to our next step. Okay, here I'm going to make two different um, meat loaves. I'm going to, one I'm going to add cheese to, and the other I'm not. And so I'm dividing my meat into halves. Here we are placing our regular meat loaf into our baking pan. Okay, here I'm gonna have my cheese. I'm gonna add maybe about a cup. No, we don't wanna overdo it. Maybe a cup. If 
you want more, you use more. Letting y'all know, if you don't want to use the mild cheddar cheese, you can always use the sharp American cheese or the Mexican blend. You can even use the Velveeta cheese. Chop it into tiny cubes and add it to your meatloaf. And it will be so, so delicious. Make this recipe yours. Now we're adding our second meatloaf in our pan. Make sure your oven is preheated at 375 degrees. We're going to bake our meatloaf for 1 hour and 15 minutes. And then we're going to be right back. Hey y'all, our meatloaf have baked. Letting y'all know I did drain off my meatloaf and now we're going to add our sauce on top. Here I'm adding some ketchup to glaze my meatloaf. Letting you know that there are some stores that do sell um, some sugar-free ketchup if you can have the regular ketchup. And plus it is so, so good. I have tried it. Just keep spreading it until um, your meatloaf is covered on top. Here I'm adding a thin glaze of tomato sauce on my next meatloaf. Uh, I end up adding two cans at the end, but you make this recipe yours. If you only want one on top, use it. Now we're going to place our meatloaves back into the oven for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to be back with the final result. Okay, y'all. We have just removed our meatloaves from the oven. And now we're going to plate it up. I hope you all enjoyed cooking with me as much as I enjoy cooking with you all. I have some homemade pasta and cheese and some green beans to go along with our meatloaf on today y'all this meatloaf was so so delicious i hope y'all enjoyed cooking with me as much as i always enjoy cooking with you all i hope y'all enjoyed this recipe don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and please don't forget to hit that notification bell so y'all can get our new and upcoming videos and to all our new viewers and subscribers you are welcome 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 to our channel okay y'all as always i'm gonna say Y'all have a blessed day, and bye-bye for now. Love y'all, stay safe, and be blessed. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. That's a hit!